Happy winter holidays, dear friends! The closer we get to the new year, the more of us are thinking about the results and achievements of the previous one. So, why not to do the same in the context of our channel? Today, let's take a look at what 2022 will be remembered for in the world of perfume. This year, the world has finally come out of the pandemic, which significantly shifted the consumer mentality towards fragrances. Back to office, more partying and more in-person interactions meant to decline in home fragrances versus 2021 and an increase in body fragrances. The consumer base has grown this year in a way that the fragrance industry has never seen before. Social media and the TikTok boom really fueled fragrance chatter and trends, creating opportunities for all brands to establish and nurture consumer relationships. What also changed was the role of perfume in the consumer's life. It's no longer about seduction only. In the world suffering from unprecedented divisions and insecurity, perfume has become a tool for emotional healing, bringing a sense of comfort and safety. What about the best perfumes of the year? Let's take a look at what's been bringing joy to our noses in 2022. If there is one main word in the world of fragrances, it's the love of consumers, of course, and Fifi. Fifi Awards is the annual event sponsored by the Fragrance Foundation that has been around for over 45 years. The award is known as the Oscars of the fragrance industry and runs in eight countries of the world, including USA, France, Germany, UK, Italy, Russia. Ready for 2022 winners? Here you go! The title of the fragrance of the year in women's luxury segment was awarded to Soleil Brulon by Tom Ford. In men's luxury segment to Sauvage Elixir by Dior. Tom Ford was also given the perfume extraordinaire of the year for the beautiful Eben Fumé. According to an official release, this particular award is about craftsmanship and measures the aesthetic beauty of a fragrance for signature, creativity, and quality. You might be wondering, where do niche, independent, and indie perfumes belong to in this matrix of effective wonderfulness? Well, don't worry. Of course, there are some awards for these segments too. The Fifi USA for the best indie fragrance of the year went to Stag by The Maker. The best independent fragrance in 2022, according to Fifi UK, is Iris Carmen by Experimental Perfume Club. In France, there were three main contenders for the Best Niche Fragrance Award. Poivre Sacré by Chiron, Blanche Bed by Liquid Imaginaire, and Velvet Tonka by BTK Perfume. Still not satisfied with the range of the recognized niche fragrances? I feel you. Why don't we look into some more independent sources, such as Fragrantica? Since 2017, Fragrantica has been running community awards fully driven by suggestions and votes of its readers. Perfume enthusiasts, collectors just like you and I. Voting is still in progress for 2022 awards, but we can already spot the leaders. For the Best Niche Perfume Award, it's Gris Charnel Extra by BZK Perfumes, Mask Therapy by Inizio, and Tomi Ayomi by Xerjov. If we look back at the trends of 2022, in my opinion, this year fragrance lovers and shoppers were showing particular interest in the following effective profiles. First and foremost, mineral notes became an absolute hit. Abstract and synthetic like the smell of metal, salt, sand, concrete, rocks, metallic notes can be found in fragrances from many different olfactive families, from gourmand to cheaper. Some of the well-known examples here would be Beach Hut for Her by Amouage, Damask by Ormond Jane, Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone, and Ciel Mobile by Vyden. Another popular trend this year, in my opinion, was milky and lactonic notes. 
such as in Le Concentré by Chabot, Blanche Bet by Liquid Imagine Air, The Ghost in the Shell by Dat Lieber d'Orange, Italica by Xerjov, Milk by Commodity, and Cruz del Sur 2 by Xerjov. Last but not least, T-Notes were also very popular in 2022 and I'm sure contributed to the success of Gris Charnel by BDK. So, what's waiting for us in 2023? Fragrance giants have been making predictions about consumer trends based on many factors – quantitative data analysis and socioeconomic situations – that supposedly trigger certain desires and emotions in consumers and lead to our interest in particular scents. For example, according to Spark, a global trend program ran by Bell Flavors and Fragrances, in 2023 we will be driven by the following concepts while shopping for perfume. Number 1. Feel good mood, which is all about fragrant products that can trigger positive feelings. Olfactive profiles of sparkling citrus, juicy summery fruit notes and floral nuances. Number 2. Do it yourself which is not about the rising environmental awareness. We live in a super fast world and according to Spark, these days people are taking up leisure activities to offset the stress of everyday life. Do-it-yourself trend is about hobbies that help us find inner balance. Soft and warm fragrance profiles embody this trend, bringing the relaxed feeling that many consumers will be looking for. Number three, a need for nature. With the rapid climate change, our appreciation of nature is taking on a whole new dimension. Plus, people are using nature as a source of relaxation and well-being. This trend will reflect in people's choice of the green, fresh, mossy and woody profiles, reminiscent of mountain lakes and the walk in the forest. Another taste and fragrance giant, called Ferminish, went from predicting trends to establishing them. Ferminish partnered with Pantone, the Global Color Institute, to determine the flavor of the year in accordance with the color of the year, which is Viva Magenta. They decided that the flavor of 2023 will be dragon fruit that, in their professional opinion, reflects the global consumer's adventurous palette and desire for the exotic. Earlier this month, Ferminish launched the fragrance of the year 2023, called Live Bold. This perfume captures the optimism and rebellious spirit of Viva Magenta color. It brings a bold and uplifting energy with innovative ingredients such as dragon fruit, beet and magenta vetiver. Let us know in the comments if such a powerful trio has a good potential of defining your new favorite olfactive profile of 2023. This year has been filled with events, changes and challenges. No matter what, we wish you to stay positive, keep dreaming and focus on things that bring you true joy, such as fragrance. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and wish us something good in the new year in the comments below. Thank you and Happy New Year!